Right, how are we doing everybody? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. We were going to play today, but the weather has beaten us to it. So instead, what we're going to be doing is uh, filming a few videos, answering a few questions that have come in onto the channel. So if you want anything clarified, then in the comments box below on any of the videos, pop it in there and I'll always come back and try and create video content around how to help you guys, well, answer any curious questions that you have. One of the questions that's come in is the early release. So we're going to use George today as he's here and he's going to demonstrate first and foremost an early release position. So if you swing up to the top and pause, right. So first of all, what would be an early release? What would it mean? Well, effectively, if we sequence correctly for a moment, George, so if you lead with the lower body, good. And then if you hold onto that, lovely. And then so just come back up to left arm horizontal for me. So come down again and pause, right. So holding onto this relationship here, which is often known as, should we say lag, holding onto this wrist cock, um, basically means that you're storing up energy. And then what will happen is that as soon as George's, should we say hand path changes, so the club is no longer vertically placed, it starts to move its way more towards the target. What this will do naturally, a centrifugal force will take over and the club will start to drop down onto the back of the ball. So it's actually a pretty natural phenomenon in terms of how the club ends up getting itself into a position on the back of the ball in terms of whatever, a straight line relationship or an element of Shaftley, which we won't go down today. If you swing up to the top again and then pause, so the question would be, and you'd kind of demonstrate an element of casting, so kind of straighten that right arm and then, yeah, so pause there. So that would be kind of known as an early release. It basically means that you've lost the wrist angulation in terms of the relationship between the left arm and the shaft casting losing energy because you're down cocking the golf club too early and then the likelihood is that you're going to be out of sequence as well what will happen when you cast early is one obviously the thing that you'll notice is that um, well you'd lose distance for one and second you would struggle with things like contact again because of the sequence of events that's led to that point which often means that the hands will end up behind the club head slightly, kind of similar to what you're demonstrating. The other complexity with releasing the club early is that you can't control the low point, which again means that you won't have the club face as much under control. Yeah? Okay, so how do you fix it and what are you looking to do? Well, if you swing up to the top again and pause for me. So if you are struggling with an early release and you've been fighting it, then I think the most important thing that you need to understand first and foremost is let's take the left hand off the club for a moment and just place it down. This arm needs to stay bent, basically. That is, this is a supporting mechanism in the transition. So if you kind of initiate your downswing with your lower body movement, just to kind of get the, the feeling of it moving out of the way, we can see the way this arm stays bent in the initiation into the transition to the golf swing. So if this arm straightens, then it's gonna have, a, you know, your arm will be applying a force to the club to send it over in this sort of direction. Keeping your arm bent and holding onto the angulation on the back of that right wrist. And that just means from wherever you are at the top of the backswing. So that can be indifferent for every golfer. You know, George grips it quite strong, so the club face looks this way. I would grip it slightly weaker, so my club looks this way. But the reality is, is what I'm talking about is holding onto this angle here in the early transition. So if you go up again, George, and then you start that initiation into the downswing two-handed and pause from here. Now, what we can also see from this camera angle is the way that <clears throat> the elbow is underneath the left arm, again, coming in towards this left arm horizontal position. So that would be something that you'd want to do. You want to feel as though as you're coming in towards this downswing that your arm is staying bent, but also your elbow is leading as though your elbow is moving to the side of your body or you can get the feeling of the elbow moving towards the ball itself if you're somebody who is struggling with an early release yeah so and again then up to the top and pause <clears throat> you've done a brilliant job demonstrating so lower body initiation would always happen first but what we can start to see is that if you can hold on to this yes relationship of this arm then it's going to support the mechanism on the left hand which means you can hold on to shaft angle and then eventually you've got to time it and come in towards that hit so what you can do is if you kind of you remember the pump drills yeah so if you kind of demonstrate a few of those little pump exercises so if you swing up and then yeah 
So kind of what George is demonstrating here, just kind of in the garden you can do this, just holding onto that angle and just kind of pumping it, which means you're pausing at left arm horizontal. So you're pausing at this position and then retreating to the top of your backswing and then coming back down into that same position again. And you can see the way that all of this is staying as one unit basically, right? So what I mean by that is from left arm to right arm to, you know, to bicep to shoulder is all working at the same speed this way not this way yeah so the hands aren't working quicker than how the shoulders working and the rotational aspects of the swing are working so by doing that pump drill will give you a really strong bit of feedback i'd also you know just do some swings at home with just your right hand as well yeah let's hit a few then george hold on to that angle and smack a few away so like i mentioned earlier, if you have any questions drop them in the comments box below and basically we'll answer those questions for you or I'll answer those questions moving forward. Like I said, we were gonna to play today, weather's beaten us to it. So if you've got any questions that you'd like to see answered on the golf course, quite a few asking about, you know, variety of how to play different types of golf shots, which we'll 100% be doing. For now, always appreciate a thumbs up. Remember, it's absolutely free to press that subscribe button as well. If you're gonna do so, press the little bell icon because that means you receive notifications every time a new video comes out. I'll catch up with you guys again soon go and work on stopping that early release.